we're gonna be adding a little bit more gravel in here. We're gonna have a slope, a quarter inch per foot slope from the door to the back when we pour the concrete. So we're gonna add about two inches of gravel to the back here and kind of feather it out this way. And that will just allow us not to have to purchase so much concrete, right? Um, we'll have four inch slab over the whole thing, but it'll be sloped so we can add some gravel back there since we still have a whole <laughs> pile of it over there. We also purchased this the other day. That was like... 200 pounds. <laughs> yeah, but you remember how much it was? 300 and something. 300 and something. Mm -hmm for 12 by 400 feet yeah about that like it's 1200 or 12 wide by like 400 something the fabric yeah so that's road fabric right there we're gonna roll that out across here about 20 feet out and then we'll put the rest of the gravel that we have on there as a, a parking spot we actually need to move that big pile of rocks because the trust trailer needs to be able to get in here so it's kind of blocking the driveway so what we're going to do is we're going to put a chalk line in the garage here chalk line up the walls so that way we can kind of get a gauge on how much gravel we need to put in there put a little bit of gravel in here and the rest will turn into a glorious mud-free parking area to be wild, want to be free, I'll always be here as long as you're standing right next to me, adventure will take us into the unknown, look straight ahead cause forward's the only way to go. We're going to get the road fabric here ready to be rolled out. I want to see here if it's fairly porous or what. I've never actually seen what it looks like before, but it looks like it's a woven fabric here. Wow, it's fairly sturdy stuff it looks like. I don't know, we'll see when we get it unwrapped. So this right here is the road fabric and it's uh, wow. it's fairly thick, yeah. fairly durable, but it looks like water will flow through it. All right, let's just see here. Texture, stay over here. Good boy. It's pretty tight weave, but you can breathe through it barely. Huh. So I don't think we have to worry about water pooling up on top of it. It'll it'll go through it. You can see through it. I mean, not like, not like really see through it, but you can see light. Here, let me see. Yeah, you can see light, yeah. See that? Kind of more of a reflection for you guys, but you can see light through it. We're gonna go ahead and roll this across the garage and then cut it off. And then we'll put another row up above that across and uh, get about 20 feet worth. Then we'll go ahead and start laying some gravel on it and see how much gravel we have left after we get most of that covered. Wow, this is pretty cool, huh?
Yeah. estimated the amount of gravel that we needed for the garage so badly but i'm kind of thankful that i did because check it out we've got a driveway now because of it maybe it's not the best rock for a driveway like if we were going to order rocks specifically for the driveway we might not order this rock but i think it's going to work great we can add more to it later but check it out out to here We'll deal with the road at a later date, but for right now, mud free driveway. Plenty of parking, so the, the rock comes out to here, comes out to here, and then kind of angles in a little bit right here. So it looks like it came out pretty good. It took quite a bit of work to get it all smoothed out and everything, but we have a driveway now, an unexpected driveway. We're ready for our floor trusses. Ah. You want to see what else is going on here in our homestead? There's a video right over there you can go ahead and check out. Otherwise, I hope you have a really great day. Keep smiling, and I will see you over in that video in just a second.